So it's been almost a month since we made our last video regarding the Evaluation X 9.0 on our Redmi Note 10 Pro. So I've, I have been using this as my uh, primary device with a SIM card with Geo and this one. So here are some of the things that I want to share and whether you can go ahead and install as a fresh build or something. Well, this is the Evaluation X 9.0 with the security patch of May 5th, 2024. Since then, there is no update. Currently, we are standing in July and I even checked the OTA update. There isn't any. And this is the Evaluation X 9.0 with the Android 14 uh, uh, build. The kernel here is 4.14.348 and uh, we have installed this ROM in our previous installation video. Before going any further, I would like to tell whether you can use it as a daily driver or this one. Well, you can definitely use it. The thing is, there are tons of customization as we see in the previous Evaluation X videos. The customizations are uh, quite good uh, with this uh, particular build. Also, uh, we have the Leica camera, which most of the time works fine and uh, you can uh, take a picture really good and portrait working fine. But when it comes to videography, this one uh, not supporting the uh, 60 FPS videos. I don't know why, Whenever I'm trying to uh, take a video of uh, 1080p, it was not at all uh, storing or something. You can see some glitches happening, right? So this is what happening. 1080p 60 or any 60 FPS videos are not working in the Leica camera, but I have uh, installed uh, Google camera there also the 60 FPS is not working maybe due to some kernel issue or something I don't know exactly but 60 FPS is uh, not properly working so, but other than that photos and all uh, working fine you can take uh, photos also you can take uh, 1080p 30 FPS video or 4k 30 FPS video here you can see that if I click here and 1080p 60 you see this is just crashing so I don't know, there are some problems with this. So previous Evaluation X also may have uh, may had the same problem. I don't know, but uh, here I have noticed when I try to uh, use the 1080 60 FPS video when I was in the MI uh, event. If you did watch that event, you can watch it uh, through the link here. So yeah, and majority of the things uh, stay as same as the previous Evaluation X. There isn't uh, much change. Also, this one is uh, pretty much uh, stable and the multitasking with this one was really, really great and it just fluently works fine. Of course, there are sometimes little bit of warming up uh, will happen, but uh, all the time, I if I can uh, get the best uh, RAM management and all, then I would uh, go for it all day. When we are talking about uh, uh, warming up on this one, let's talk about the battery backup. I was using this uh, continuously with uh, 4G network, uh, uh, LTE, voice over LTE and Wi-Fi, and I was using uh, YouTube and uh, this one. So I have uh, run the AQ battery. So here if I go to history and you see, so here you see the 59 percentage of the battery just went with the 3 hours 47 minutes. So this is one of the example how long uh, it is uh, holding. Also this is uh, 21 hours, uh, 22 hours actually it's almost a day we were using it. So this is the actual uh, thing. This may give it like uh, roughly 7 hours of screen on time. At max, if you are downloading all the video and watching it in the offline or something, it will give you seven hours. But normal day-to-day -day usage and uh, GPS and maps and display full brightness and 120 hertz. Yes, I was using all the time 120 hertz display. So yeah, you will be getting here, you can see around like uh, six hours, six hours, 39 minutes or to seven hours uh, backup. So this is typically happens with uh, this Evaluation X ROM. These are not uh, meant for really good battery backup or something, but this is actually good and decent battery backup with the performance uh, considered. I also have run the Geekbench and this is the actual uh, Geekbench score. In single core, we have the 715 and multi-core 1523. And the graphical uh, performance, 
we are getting 1310 which is almost the same as previous uh, custom roms there isn't uh, much problem or uh, any performance dips also i have uh, played the bgmi which also same like uh, previous there isn't uh, much to uh, check on this safety net uh, passes by default and you can install the payment and other apps uh, camera to ap which we have seen uh, google camera so all the things are enabled by default there isn't uh, much problem here the only problem as i said this one uh, has the issue of that uh, 60 fps so that is one of the major thing for me to consider not to use other than that the customization and the multimedia wise and headphone jack just works fine and the bluetooth audio works fine so i didn't find uh, much of the problem so i would say you can consider and you can use it for some time as it is a official build also these uh, ot updates are not fully uh, like every month it is coming so Uh, most of them are now uh, again getting into the unofficial side so if you find any official rom that you are getting a ot update every month and works just fine uh, with the customization and all just let me know in the comment section i also thinking to install other i don't know whether hypervoice got officially released for this device if it is means i will just try to go to the miui back and i will try those thing and we'll come back to the, this device after a few weeks you can watch all the redmi note 10 pro sweet related videos in the playlist here and subscribe to my channel if you are using the device it will give a boost for me to consider this device more and install patches or custom kernel whatever you ask we'll try to do it so yeah thank you for watching code mato